Hey you guys, it's Kristen and welcome back to The Gold Project. In today's video, I will be sharing with you what is in my fall 2015 handbag. So what handbag did I decide to go with for this fall? Well, never in a million years would I have thought that I would want a backpack purse. Okay, I had a black backpack purse in the 90s that I carried all the time. I really liked it then, but I thought, I, I don't, I'm too old for a backpack purse. But then I saw Jessica Quirk on what I wore. She had this adorable outfit that I felt looked just like me. I'll post a picture at the top here. I mean, from the sweater she has on, to the jeans, to the tennis shoes, and the backpack purse. I thought, ooh, that is right up my alley. I thought, I like that. That looks perfect to me. So, of course, I pinned it. So, I actually like the sweater so much, I bought it, but in a different color because I did not have the color that she had on in the picture. So, I found out on her website where she got the purse, and it is one of my favorite companies, Vera Bradley. Now, so I looked it up on Vera Bradley's website and it was $258. I thought, um, no, I'm not spending $258 on a purse. So, I pinned it on my wish list on Pinterest and I waited. I thought, now if I can save up enough money, I will get that purse. But let me tell you, there's one thing that you need to know about me if you don't know it already is I don't like to pay full price for anything. I feel like I need to have some sort of discount and some sort of free shipping if I buy something. So normally what I do is I'll find something I like and then I'll watch it until it becomes the price that I feel like that I need to pay for something. If it doesn't get down to that price, then that means I don't need it. So I watched it all summer long then I found another purse I thought I would like better, which is the Henry Bindle Jet Setter, convertible jet setter. And I'll put that picture up here. I saw the pink version. I thought, oh man, now I need to have that purse instead of the other one. And I thought, mm, I almost purchased that purse. Almost. Then Vera Bradley had a sale that you could, I think that it was like 30% off. Plus, I think I had a $30 coupon. And you got this cute little leather $58 envelope free with your purchase. Not the plus free shipping. So I thought, oh me. So I got out my little calculator and the whole thing was going to cost me $150. So that's with the discount with my coupon. Then I was going to get the little envelope to go with it. So I thought, okay, I'm going to get it. So at that moment, I decided because I had saved up money. I decided to purchase, this is the Amy Leather Black Backpack, Quilted Backpack from Vera Bradley. This reminds me so much of the purse I carried and I think it was middle school. But mine was patent leather. This is, I think this is like authentic leather. And I must say, it is even better looking in person than I ever thought it was gonna be. So, it's got tons of pockets. And look at this fabric. How cute is that? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go behind the camera and I'm going to show you all of the contents of my new backpack. And let me add that I just started using this yesterday. So I went to my daughter's first cheerleading performance and then we went shopping afterwards. So I've carried this to several different places in the past day. So I can tell you it is really nice. The only kind of thing that I'm kind of iffy about is this little flap here. It's got a magnetic closure, but other than that, I love it. Really? And there's Bella. Say hello to Bella. Hello, Bella. And take two. Hopefully, Bella will not jump into the picture, and here she comes. Really? And take number three. I had to take Bella and put her outside of the room because I was not going to get this video filmed otherwise. So before I show you the handbag, I just want to show you what they sent with it. They sent this nice little dust bag with the handbag. It says Vera Bradley in gold on it. And it is plenty big to fit the entire 
backpack. So I'm not going to have to stuff it in here and hope it fits. It's very, very nice and it's, and it's very soft too. Okay, we are going to start with the outside of my backpack. So it is quilted on the front, quilted leather. And then on the left and the right sides, I have these little zipped pockets. And if you open it, it has the floral print on each of the pockets as well. And the zipper is gold. And it's got this nice little gold detailing that says Vera Bradley on the zipper. And the same thing for the other side. So the pockets are identical on the left and the right. Then on the back, the straps are adjustable, which I like. And then I just discovered this today. There's this nice little pocket at the very top of the the handbag in the back and I think this is perfect for a cell phone and it's also got the floral fabric as well. This is where I plan to keep my cell phone. Now I know some of you may be like uh, you're not supposed to carry your cell phone on the outside of your bag. Yes you might you are correct but when I carry it back here I'm going to make sure that I have my backpack on both of my shoulders so this is pressing up against my back otherwise I would not keep it in this pocket. Okay now let's get to the inside of the bag. This beautiful fabric, I just cannot even, I can't rave enough about the inside fabric. I mean, how beautiful is that? And this feels like the signature Vera Bradley fabric. It's very soft. Okay, then you have this nice little drawstring. Okay, and that's how it keeps closed mainly. And this right here, this is the only part of the bag that I really don't like. The way that this bag closes is a magnet. So there's a magnet here. And there's a magnet here, and it just kind of comes together. That's the only part of this bag that I do not like. I would rather have one of those little snap buttons so that I know it was closed. I had to ask my husband several times yesterday, is my backpack shut? Because I couldn't tell because this doesn't say, stay closed all the time, and sometimes it pops open. Maybe it, you might not have that problem if you don't pack your purse full of stuff like I do. So this is what the inside looks like. And the first thing you're going to find is my brush that I had on my favorite things a couple months ago. This is the finger brush. This is a size medium. I got this at Ulta. I will put the link below for all of these products so that you can check them out. And the next thing that you're going to see is my Huggies Wipes. And y'all, I just refill this with the Parents' Choice wipes. And this has been so handy. I know I keep saying this on several different videos, but I cannot tell you how many times this has saved me and my kids when Derek has ran out of wipes in his um, little day bag. Next, you will find my Marine Parents iPad sleeve. I mean, how cute is that? I sent them a picture of my bag and how well did they match that i thought they did an excellent job matching that so this is what i keep my foxy dory checkbook register in oops the little string came up so that's what i keep my foxy dory checkbook register and my Kate Spade Wellesley Agenda that I use as my wallet. And I had a video last week showing you how I have this set up and how I have my Foxy Dory checkbook register set up. So I'll put that link below. So these two things stay inside of this iPad sleeve. And look, I've got $20 today. That never happens. Then next up, I have a matching pencil pouch that Marine Parents sent me. How cute. And I love that they had this little logo. How cute is that on the side? Their little stitched in tag. And this is what I'm now using as my pen and pencil bag. And it's the exact same fabrics that are on my iPad sleeve. And then I am still carrying around my Aura Kylie pencil pouch, but instead of using it for pencils and pens, I'm actually using it for my powder compact that I carry with me, my EOS lip balm, and this, it came in the breast cancer set. I'm not sure what kind it is, but it came in a pack of two. And then my favorite lotion for every day, which is the Manicure Spa 
Beauty Control Extra Extreme Repair Hand Cream. This stuff is amazing. Even after you wash your hands, it is great. That is what is kept inside of my Orla Kylie pencil pouch. And Orla Kylie for Target now has new patterns out for their set. And um, they're blue and it's called Meadow. I'll put a link below to those if you want to check them out. It looks exactly like this, but instead of being black, it's blue. It is so cute. And this thing is such good quality. I've been using it for six plus months and it still looks brand new. And then last but not least, the only other thing that I have in my bag is my peel organizer that I have talked to y'all about in one of my favorites videos. I keep supplements and vitamins and several different things that I have to take during the day in this and it stays inside of my purse. And there's two things that I forgot to tell you that I wanted to share with you on this video. The first one is every hole that is used for the drawstring has this gold Vera Bradley metal piece. So I thought that was very nice. And then on the inside, there is a leather piece embossed with in gold Vera Bradley. So I thought that was very nice as well. So I just wanted to kind of add that. And I keep forgetting to show you different things. One other thing. I forgot to show you the inside pockets. Now, it's kind of hard to see with the lighting here. But there are two extra pockets on the inside. There is a zippered pocket that's pretty deep. And then there's a pocket right in front of the zippered pocket that could be used for maybe a cell phone or a hairbrush or something like that. And that's right here. And that is all for my fall 2015 handbag and the contents. I hope you enjoyed seeing what I'm going to be carrying around in my handbag this fall. And I think I'm really going to like the backpack style because it allows me to have my purse, but my hands are free at the same time. So I can do some shopping and take care of my kids all at the same time. If you like the purse organization videos, please give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, I would greatly appreciate it if you would do so. I hope you all have a fantastic week and until next time, bye.